the Kubuntu team is excited to announce the release of Kubuntu 18.04 LTS. Kubuntu 18.04 comes with a variety of new features, updated theming, improvements to the user experience, and so much more to make the best version of Kubuntu yet. If you're a fan of long-term support or LTS releases, then Kubuntu 18.04 LTS will be perfect for you because in addition to being based on Ubuntu LTS, Kubuntu 18.04 is utilizing KDE Plasma 5.12 LTS and the 5.9 LTS version of the Qt application toolkit. This release of Kubuntu introduces a new light and dark hybrid theme to the Plasma desktop. This new theme features a light design for applications while using a dark design for the Plasma panels, menus, and widgets, adding a more sleek and cleaner presentation. There's been a lot of enhancements to the user experience in Kubuntu 18.04, such as using double-click by default for opening files and navigating through folders. We've streamlined the indexing performance of Baloo, the desktop search and file indexer, added Google Drive integration with support in a variety of applications like the Dolphin File Manager, and updated KDE Connect to 1.3 for improved integration with your Android-powered devices. Kubuntu 18.04 adds a great new minimal installation option which provides the ability to remove a large number of the default applications, offering much more control to the user. With this option, you'll pretty much just get the Plasma desktop, the core utilities, and a web browser. So that way, you can make your own custom Kubuntu from there. The Discover Software Store has been updated to be visually leaner and more stable. Discover now has support for apt URLs to easily install applications from your web browser. And Kubuntu 18.04 adds an option to add a Snaps backend for installing Snap packages with Discover. In addition to Discover, Kubuntu 18.04 adds the ability to use the Muon Package Manager for those who prefer a more direct approach to package management. There's been some changes to the default applications for 18.04 by adding the widely popular VLC Media Player and replacing Amarok with the MPD-powered music player Cantata. Kubuntu 18.04 provides the ability to use Plasma Vaults Vaults allow you to lock and encrypt sets of documents to hide them from prying eyes, even if the user is logged in. Vaults offer strong encryption features with a user-friendly presentation. And for even more security, you can also isolate individual vaults to specific Plasma activities. Global Menus is a feature that may be familiar to users of Ubuntu's Unity desktop environment. And Kubuntu's Global Menu feature sees many usability improvements in this latest release including the automatic starting of the corresponding background service when the menu is enabled. Kubuntu 18.04's desktop provides the ability to use KDE Plasma's really cool spring loading feature. Spring loading allows you to drag and drop items through subfolders without the need of even opening your file manager. Thanks to KDE Plasma 5.12, Kubuntu's notification system sees many improvements. The notification history adds the option to store missed and expired notifications, making it possible to review what happened in your absence. It is also now possible to select and copy text, and even links, to your clipboard directly from notifications. If you enjoy using Kubuntu, please consider donating to help the project. Thank you so much for watching, and we'd love to know what you think of this release, so please let us know in the comments below.